So I was browsing Spire's resources one day, or I should say today, like an hour ago, and I see, and I found a picture of Tanama from Starter Frog. Curiosity, I clicked on it, and apparently there was a Starter Frog RPG series that I hadn't even heard of. So, of course, I had to get on that. Anyway, hello everybody, this is I am Master Monsters bringing you a brand new Let's Play. Sergeant Frog RPG. The. I forget the title. I think it's The Ninja, The Warrior, and The Legendary Pirates. Don't know what any of these mean because it's not translated yet. I'm going to skip the cutscenes because they're voice acted and s spelled in, or dialogue wise in Japanese. Now, there's also a blind let's play. Would you mind, guys mind if I just put on the sound entirely? Anyway, as you can see, this game looks, if you've seen any of my summer older videos, uh, you might know what this game kind of looks like. I'm going to play as Kulu because he's my favorite frog. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, but Starter Frog is actually my second favorite anime. Yeah, this game looks insanely similar to Dragon Ball Z Attack of the Saiyans. To be fair, some scenes in Sergeant Frog was kind of a parody of Dragon Ball Z, kinda. And I probably didn't go for that. I don't know what I picked up. I think a healing item or some gold. But oh, this game is actually a ripoff of something much different. I don't know if it was a good game or not. I've seen gameplay footage of it. It looks fun. And it looks insanely similar to something else. That if you know the series at all, you or you've seen it, footage of it, you might know what it's a ripoff of. I should probably go over the basic frogs. Or the plot line. It's been a little while since I saw Sandra Frog. The basic plot though is that there's an insanely incompetent frog. Or not, he's not technically a frog, but whatever. On the planet Charon. What had a mission to go conquer the Earth. He's so insanely incompetent. Only cares about himself. Exet, exet. Crash on Earth. He's obsessed with Gundam on something. I guess it's a running mag and they don't really explain it, but he's a, apparently a childhood friend with some human name. 556 pronounced Korgoro. Uh, don't there doesn't seem to be a menu button. At least yet. Don't know why they're blocking off the menu. And on the earth he meets two humans, for Yuki and a girl whose name I forgot. Even though she's a big main character. Again, I haven't watched Sergeant Frog in a while. Can you blame me? Anyway, the basic frogs are Caro, Incompetence to the Max, Obsessed with Gundams and video games, Gero, who's a red one, very war mongering. Okay. Almost the attacks. Yeah, it's a Tails ripoff. It even has the same battle system of the really old Tales games. Uh, what do I do? Uh, is there a jump button or anything? I have to do certain combos. Okay, yeah. eight blocks or eight on my keyboard. Uh, 
Okay, got that meter is your stamina. There is no escape. This might take a while. Okay, that doesn't work. Uh, oh! How did I do that? Oh, okay. Big RPG battle system. Ah, I guess I just gotta kill it now. Oh wait, why? Which one's why? I guess I gotta block a hit. Okay. Oh yeah, I should I go over the frogs now? Oh yeah, that's Angel Mawa. Fun fact, Sergeant Frog and Soul Calibur are technically in the same canon. Not even kidding about that. Angel Mawa, I know I'm butchering her last name, is actually cousins with one of the street... Let's say Street Fighter last time. Uh, Soul Calibur characters. Something Mawa. That's official. That Soul Eater character actually appeared in the Sarger Frog manga once. So yes, Sarger and Frog and Soul Calibur are in the same universe. Anyway, Angel Mar was a pretty good character. Was a pretty cool character. Although it's kind of creepy. She's in love with Caro. Not kind of creepy in itself, but they already say that Caro was like an uncle to her. Oh, more battle. Ah, cool. I see. Oh, yeah. I guess I was kind of like in the anime or manga. If Sergeant got moist enough, he became a super general. Because the Earth's atmosphere was too... Too dry. Okay. Okay, that's me. You can see everyone's at level one. My only major complaint right now is that one is a pretty big ripoff of Tales is a fun the Tales series. Thought someone called me for someone called me for a second, and kind of rip off Dragon Ball Z Attack of the Saiyans, and then kind of I won't give it that much. You know, these are our major m main characters. Kararo, I'll pretty much already explain him. Kulo, he's the insane. He's basically the mad scientist. He's not a mad scientist. He's an angry scientist. If you know where that's from, you get a cookie. Huh, Tanama's actually pretty powerful. Tanama, he is also in love with Sergeant. I guess because he's so... Well, he's not really impressed by how great he is. He's a suck-up, but at times he shows that he really doesn't think Sergeant's all that 
powerful or anything. I'm surprised that Doro is the weakest. I mean, they even say in the anime his physical, I mean, his combat strength surpassed Garo, who I'll get in next. Doro is the kind hearted, like the only kind hearted character. However, his kind heartedness gets the best of him, and he's kind of annoying, I won't lie. He's a good character, but, ugh. And, wow, Gero is really weak in this game. Gero is a warmongering. He's in love with, I think, I want to say her name was Mitsumi. I know it means winter, I mean, not winter, that's Fayuki. Summer something. Anyway. He is a warmongering-ish. He has a lot of guns. Oh no. He's probably one of the more like characters. Stats. The first one means attack. The second one means defense. I, what kind of stats? Gero is kind of a tank. The third one is luck. And I think the final one is speed. You know, I th I don't know, Gero's not a tank either. He has the highest defense, though. Uh, how do I move characters? Ah. Oh, pretty simple. And I think I might do some grinding. Why is my avatar still Doro? Uh, I guess I can't do level grinding. Oh well. I'll end off now. Bye guys, have a great day.